I am one of the survivors from the Virginia Tech shooting, which happened um, six years ago in Blacksburg, Virginia, and a gunman killed 32 people. In room 211, two-thirds of her classmates gunned down. Six survived. Christina Anderson lived. Within 12 minutes, he killed um, 11 of my classmates and my teacher. So we did not know about the first shooting that happened at about 7.05 that morning. Um, there was a delay in Virginia Tech, um, didn't notify the campus, um, which, you know, at the time there was no precedent for a second shooting. So really we had no information. I didn't even have a smartphone at the time. For a matter of minutes, you didn't know if you were going to survive. I can't yeah. imagine that. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's hard. It's having those seconds of time when it's life and death that you start to realize that life is so precious and valuable and should be, um, should be treasured. So I think it would almost be like a really big travesty to survive this whole event and not do something about it for everyone else. He shot me twice in the back and once in the foot. Injured, but inspired. Years later, in a smartphone-connected world, Anderson is building the technology she wishes she'd had during the horrific day that changed her life. So this is the report an incident feature right from the app. LiveSafe is an app that lets people report incidents to law enforcement or campus authority in a couple taps. Students are already testing it on college campuses. On the police side on the dashboard, they have this like robust system where they see directly um, who the person is who submitted it, and this, they receive their contact information, their picture, and also the GPS coordinates Every in day. real time. LiveSafe also lets users send out an alert to their emergency contacts in a swipe. And when you slide to alert, it sends them your GPS coordinates. They have a picture of, of where you're located. The tech makes it easy for law enforcement to collect evidence and send safety alerts via smartphone. Tech that could have helped Anderson on that day six years ago. If LiveSafe had existed and people had actually used it, I would have received a lot more, um, you know, just information from people that were already there. I might not have gone to campus. Police would have had a lot more broader wealth of um, pictures and video coming in beforehand. Sometimes, like, violence just finds you. That's an, un, you know, unfortunate act of, of truth. But to know that there is something you can do to make yourself and those around you safer, it's a little step in the right direction, I think. Lori Siegel, CNN Money, New York.